Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be talking about how to clean that Alcantara steering wheel on your Boss 302 or any other car that's got an Alcantara steering wheel. Alright guys, let's get into it. Alright guys, so I know sometimes cleaning steering wheels like this with this type of material can seem a little bit scary, but believe me, it's not that bad. And actually, when I first got the car, even though it only had about 4,300 kilometers on it at the time, the top of the steering wheel was in really bad shape. It was completely shined over. It had no kind of Alcantara feel to it. It just felt like really contaminated and greasy and, and it was really shiny. Whereas, you know, on the other parts down here in the lower section, they actually were still nice and soft and, and kind of matted and you could feel that Alcantara still. So trust me on this one, I've done this a few times. It's always turned out really well. And I know sometimes we have a tendency to kind of overcomplicate things when it comes to how we clean stuff, but this one's actually really simple. And in the video here, I'll show you exactly what you need to get started. All right, well, seems simple enough, right? So all I've got here is a nice white hand towel. The reason why I just do your old, you know, cotton towels is microfiber can work sometimes okay, but I find that the the abrasiveness of this really helps to kind of pick up all the pile and actually get the, the Alcantara to actually stand back up. So all I'm really gonna do, and as you guys can see, it's nice and white right now, but when you get onto the actual steering wheel and you start to kind of work it in, and all you're not trying to be super difficult you're more or less just trying to rub it i've seen some guys that have gone a little bit too hard with this and what ends up happening is you actually end up kind of uh roughing up the alcantara too much but that's what starts to come off so it's not that uh pleasing to look at you think your hands are clean but i assure you they are not and i just kind of go over the steering wheel with this give it a couple of times just to kind of get you know the areas that i know i touch quite a bit and once i'm done with that the one thing I didn't show is I actually have one of these kind of like interior detailing cloths and you can sometimes use them just to try and get the Alcantara to stand back up after you've cleaned it. Now one of the key things that I find when you're doing this is once you're kind of done and you've, and you've wiped it down, you want to let it dry. Now I'm not driving the car for the next, uh, you know, till the morning. So in that situation, I'm actually going to end up just letting it sit and dry uh, overnight. And then by the next morning, it'll be nice. It'll kind of stand back up. It'll, it'll have more of that matte look to it once you're done as well. So uh, I'm just going to keep working away on this and I'll show you guys the after results. Sometimes I make this life thing harder than it needs to be. Not dead yet, true shit. So why do I worry about what I See, I was stressing about money for my rent, but the money that I spent last night with my friends was worth it. Sometimes and that's it, guys. We are all done. It looks a lot better than it did when I just got started. Keeping in mind, I do mine every couple months, so I don't really let it get too far out of hand. But now that you guys know how to do it too, you'll be able to kind of maintain yours and get it back to uh, looking like it's brand new. All right, guys, thanks again for watching today's video. We'll see you guys next week.